Hello and thanks for joining me today. I'm going to share with you today some products that I've been sent lately and give a few ideas that I've come up with for using them. So first of all I'll show you just exactly what's here. I've been sent some lovely different sizes and shapes of canvas boards. Here they are. And then my next product is the Pebio Ultimate Pouring Medium Discovery Set. So I'll show you what's inside that box. Inside first of all you'll find the most important thing, I think, is this little leaflet by Nancy Wood. Now the, the products inside here are a pouring medium, a catalyst and some paint and a little spatula. But the catalyst, uh, pouring medium and catalyst is a special formulation which was made by Pebio in conjunction with Nancy Wood. So this is very important because it shows you a master class. There's a link on here to a fantastic video. It's a master class by Nancy Wood and absolutely everything that you'll need to know about mixing this and, and how it should turn out at the end is in that video. I'm just going to show you some ideas that I have later um, basically just to use these products with some products that you may already have but inside this set you'll find the medium, the catalyst and five different colours of the Pebio High Viscosity Studio Acrylics we've got Yellow Ochre, Oriental Violet, Turquoise Blue Mars Black and Titanium White and then this little uh, painting knife. So I'll set that aside and then I'll show you. I've also got this set. Now this one comes uh, just in a box of its own and this is the pouring medium and the catalyst without the paint. So that will show you that you can buy this separately. The link to the video is in this one as well but you can maybe try some of this out with some other paints and things that you've got as well without having the discovery set that one. Now I've got some pouring experiences closable and reusable measuring cups. There are five 120 ml cups in there and this is one that I have already taken out. So you can see the, the lid is absolutely perfect for putting uh, water or paint in the cup and then putting the lid on and when that's on your desk then if you accidentally knock it over you know you're not going to spill it. As well as that it saves the paint for a little while if you want to mix it up and just leave it ready. So there you are, that's another great little idea. And lastly I have got some of these uh, tools. So I just want to show you what's inside this and I'll read it off the sheet just to show you what's what's here. Now I've got, let's see, two painting knives, two brushes, a marbling tool, a spatula and five pipettes. So that's everything that you'll need to get started with some of this pouring experiences. And um, I just can't wait to start opening all this up and having a, a good play with it. So I'll pop some of this aside, have a little experiment to see how I get on and I'll be back again in a few minutes with a few ideas. So I've got my canvas board ready. This is not a, a deep canvas and there's going to be no sagging in the middle so it's, it's perfect for the job. I've also got it on some paper so that if any of the paint goes over the edge I can just throw that away. But I have have got a glass mat underneath it and um, I've really only just got the glass mat covered with the paper to save the glare on the camera there. But a little tip is that I've used the glass mat to pour some puddles of the paint onto first of all. Uh, that way I can use just small amounts of it and make sure I've got the consistency right first. It saves me wasting any paint and it's easily mopped up again. So the brand of paint that I'm using at the moment is Elements, Elements Studio Acrylics and I've got some white mixed up um, to, do for the, to use for the background. I've also got some orange to do a pour a puddle on the centre of that and then I've used this dark blue with the catalyst. So just to show you what I've done, this is quite thin. The paint itself was actually quite thick. So um, when I tried it out a few times before there, I've realised that I needed it quite a little bit thinner. So I've added quite a bit of pouring medium. I've used the recipe that was on the video that I've referred to at the beginning. and But I've had to thin this down quite a little bit. I want to get a nice even coverage over the back of the canvas first of all. And then to pour this lovely bright orange on top. And then... This is the blue paint that I've used with the catalyst that I'm going to use on top of all of that. 